Hi everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with another room styling video for you and today I'm going to be giving my mantelpiece a little bit of a refresh for autumn. I think one of my favourite things to do is switch up the mantelpiece. You may have seen it go through lots of different styles and today we're going to be going for quite a minimal autumn theme with it. The inspiration for this video has come from a piece that I actually found on the street. So I found a mirror that somebody had discarded and I thought with that in mind, as I got the mirror for free, how about we have a go at styling up the mantelpiece with a £10 budget and see how we get on with that. So this is a budget makeover video. So before we get into it, if you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe. I post new videos every single week. And if you enjoy this little mantelpiece refresh with me, then do give this video a thumbs up. I've got myself a coffee to have while we're doing this. Get the kettle on because this one might take a little while. But first of all, I'm gonna show you the mirror that I've got here already. This mirror came from Home Bargains and was 5 99 So if you don't have a free mirror to get you started with a similar project, obviously that's gonna eat into the budget quite a bit. So this one's a good starting point at 5 99 I think it'd be a really good one that you could upcycle as well. Maybe uh, take the frame off and spray it gold or white or a different color. You may have also seen the one that I recently picked up in Poundland, which was five pounds. Again, this one would be a really good starting point for your mantle if you're looking for an affordable mirror. Another really good place to check out is your local charity shop and car boot sale, of course and also do have a little look on places like Gumtree where things are often being given away for free and you never know what you might find. So I'm going to be getting rid of this one. This one I'm going to be putting into a different room because I'm going to introduce you now to the new mirror that I've got. I say new, it's a very old mirror but the one that I got for free essentially. But as you can see it's quite an old mirror. It's also very heavy so it's got a wooden back and then it's got these nice little ornate bits in the corner which I've already given a really good scrub. I got some kitchen cleaner on it. Probably not the best thing, but that's all I had to hand. And it wasn't quite a dirty old way. I've also um, cleaned all the back of it. There's a chain on the back to hang it up. So what I'm going to do now is hang it up. There's already a screw on the wall, and that will be our starting point for the rest of the mantle. So now that that's up, I'm going to give it a clean with this glass cleaner. I picked this one up in Lidl. Lemon, grass, and orange one. It smells really good. So I'm going to quickly wipe off any fingerprints that I left behind while I was mounting it just now. All alone again tonight, but you don't seem to forget about yourself. Wondering how it could go so wrong. I'm just going to give the mantle piece a little dust off. So I've just got a damp cloth here. And then we'll be good to start styling it all up. So I've gathered a few bits here that I think will be all nice together. So I'll take you through each one as I introduce it. But we're going to start off with this mirror that you may have seen recently from my vlog where I did a bit of a thrift haul. And this I picked up for £4. So yeah, this is just a really simple cactus design mirror that I picked up in a thrift store. So this was £4. This is the first £4 of our £10 uh, mantelpiece makeover. I really liked the um, metal hardware on this and I just thought it was a really nice mirror, nice and slim. So I had it in mind that I'd be looking for a thin bit of wall, maybe a bit of wall next to a door. But then I thought, I've got these two um, screws in already, either side, which are really handy throughout the year because what I like to do with those is just switch up different wreaths or different hanging ornaments depending on what season we're working with. It's just got a bracket on the back there to hang it up with and I thought this would look really nice just hanging there like that just to kind of give a bit of interest and a bit of height to that side of the mantle. What are we thinking? So that's the first piece we've introduced, that's four pounds. Let's see what's next. I'm gonna duck down and get something else. Right then, so to balance it out, we now have a space on this side. So I thought we would introduce this wreath. So this you may have seen from the DIY video that went up on Friday, where I had a go at making some wreaths. And this one was made from things from Poundland. So the wreath base, you actually get two of these for one pound. So I'm gonna call that 50p. And then I introduced a few pine cones, some cinnamon sticks and orange, and some conkers, and some twine. Now the twine I kind of had already. I'm just gonna say that this is all 50p. These were donated by Luke. 
They came from Kate's driveway and these I actually foraged from my holiday in Ibiza. So we're going to call this one pound for the wreath. I might be cheating a little bit, but I think essentially it, it basically added up to roughly that. If you want to see exactly how I made it, I will link the video for you. I'm going to hang this on that side there. And I think the browns in that go really nicely with the edging of the mirror. Okay, next up we have these three brown vases that need a dust. Two seconds. I didn't realise they were so dusty. Puh. Um, these came from the car boot sale and these were free. So sometimes at the car boot sale, people will have a table, <laughs> excuse me, that have free stuff or maybe it comes to the end of the car boot sale and they just decide to give things away for free. These were on a table that said um, all free stuff and so I picked them up so I thought I could definitely do something with those. So this one is kind of like a little ink well, and then we have this nice vase and clay vase here. So I thought we'll introduce those and we're still at five pounds. Another piece that you may be familiar with if you watch my channel regularly is this vase that I picked up at the car boot sale for two pounds, I think this was. It's a really nice big glass vase, so really versatile. You may have seen this in different videos. I did a DIY scene in here for Christmas time. I think we popped a snowman in there if I remember correctly. In here I've got some various pine cones and bits. There's also some gold in there. I think we might just leave that at the back because I'm not sure um, how that's gonna look with everything else. But what we can always do is swap the gold to the front as we're heading a little bit more into as we're heading a little bit more into the festive season. So I'm going to pop this on. Let's actually put that on this side here. See how that looks there. That looks quite nice. It's quite a big um, piece, so I think that looks quite good. I'm thinking we could do it with a little bit more height though on the mantles. What are we up to? Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> okay. I only used half the bag of pine cones and bits that came um, from a charity shop. So can we call that one pound? And then we'll be a bit more on budget. So we're gonna go four, five, six, seven, eight pounds. So for nine pounds, we're going to now add this one pound sprig of eucalyptus that came from the land where everything is one pound. This matches my jumper. Um, so, I thought this would introduce a nice bit of height, and I need the scissors. Two seconds. And of course, you can never find a pair of scissors when you need a pair of scissors. So yeah, I'm going to introduce this, I think, maybe into this pot here, because this is nice and narrow, and then that will give us a little bit of height. I'm just going to fold it, because then I can always use it in a future different kind of floral arrangement, should I need it to be a little bit taller. Hopefully that stick bit will just... Um, hide at the back. So we'll just um, poke that in and see how that looks like that. Yeah, I think that looks quite good. And then into these I feel like they need a little something extra. So I've actually picked something up from the pavement again. Two seconds. Oh, someone at the door now. Hang on. Sorry about that. Where was I? So yeah, I've got these which I found on the pavement. They've just fallen off someone's bush <laughs> and this is I don't know what it is um, but it kind of dried up quite nicely so I've just left it to dry and I thought we could introduce that into the little pots over there there's a bit left over so we'll just leave that just there four five six seven, eight, nine. So we've got one pound left, so it has to be an item from the land where everything's one pound, and I picked up this recently. If you follow me on my home Instagram account, which is Mr. Carrington Home, you may have seen this already. It is this lovely little trinket box. This I thought was such a good value for one pound. It's like a nice smoky glass with gold hardware. It's a trinket box, and I had a few more conkers left over, so I've added those inside just to put something in it. And I thought we might do something a little bit different with this. So I thought we'll pop it on its side like this. There we go. And then I'm gonna add a little tea light onto there and see how that looks. Cause it'd be nice to introduce a little bit of light to the setup. 
And then last little final touches, two seconds. I'm going to add this beautiful ceramic pumpkin. This I'm not going to include in the pricing because this was actually a gift. This was part of a thrift challenge that I did with Freya Farrington here on YouTube. You probably watch her already, but just in case you don't, I'll link her channel. And basically we thrifted pieces for each other to the value of 20 pounds. So essentially this was a gift and perfect for this time of year. She's also got a home account as well, which I think you'll really like um, if you like simple home decor and also the household bargains. She's into the bargain stores like me as well. So I'm going to introduce that pumpkin. I think it'll look really nice with everything else that we've got here. And then the last little touch, I've got a few more of these pine cones that I found lying around in Ibiza as well. I really like the way they've been kind of bleached. I don't know if that's by the sun or the salt in the sand or what it is, but yeah, they've just been kind of bleached around the edge, which I think looks really nice already. So I'm just gonna add those on to the mantle. So my friend, let me tell you once again, and you know that it's true. So all that remains now is I'll just light a tea light on the trinket dish. If I can find a tea light and if I can find the matches. And you may have seen this before. This was another really quick and easy little DIY project. This is a jar that I picked up at the car boot sale and all I did was take some of these large matches that you can buy in Poundland, cut off the striker, the sandpaper part, I don't know what you call that, it probably has got a name but I can't remember at the minute, and then yeah just literally sellotape that onto the front, you could hot glue it I guess but um, yeah I just thought I'd keep it flexible in case I wanted to bring it back to using it just as a nice little bottle. So let's light the candle. We'll just stand and have a good look, take it all in and make sure that we like the arrangement. But I think that's looking all right. What are we thinking? I think that looks quite nice. I think if I had a bit more budget on this one, I'd probably introduce something a little bit more statement within it all. So maybe get some really big branches, maybe coming out of this one or something. I feel like everything's a little bit small and sometimes it's nice to play around with scale a bit. I'm just squatting slightly to get into the shot. Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully it gave you some inspiration to do things on a budget in your home. You really don't need to spend loads of money to make things look interesting and stylish and homely and all of that good stuff. So yeah, I'm really pleased with how the mantle's looking. It's quite minimal for me because I like to put lots of stuff on there usually. I'm sure before I know it, there'll be a few more bits added, maybe some more candles on there. But yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, so do leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget, you can always catch me over on Instagram, which is Mr. Carrington, and I'm nearly at 10K over there. Well, I say nearly, I think there's about a thousand um, people left to join over there and then we'll be at 10,000 which is so exciting because then I will be able to get the swipe up feature on my stories which means that I can share more stuff with you so I'm really looking forward to getting to 10,000 so it'd be great to see you over there if you don't follow me over there already and as I say I post stories every single day and do check out my home account as well if you're into your home decor your thrifted pieces your car boot sale finds and the bargains in the bargain stores when something like that nice trinket dish hits Poundland they tend to sell out quite quickly and I will be the first person to let you know when those things hit the store. If I spy them, they will be on my stories over on Mr. Carrington Home. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Enjoy your Sunday, whatever you're up to today. If you're watching it on Sunday, that is. You might be watching it in the future for all I know. But if you're watching this as it's just gone up, then um, yeah, I really hope you enjoy your Sunday. So thanks again for watching. Do click subscribe if you haven't done so already and do give the video a little thumbs up to let me know if you enjoyed it. Have a brilliant day and I'll see you soon. Bye. This vase, which has been featured um, a lot on my channel, actually, I've used this on many occasions for different, <gasps> excuse me. And inside of this, I've got some pine cones and some various uh, shapes. Shapes? <laughs> I don't know what they are. What is this? Of course it's eucalyptus. Um, silly me, I was just, just... <sighs> A. What do you call that? 
it's like a smoked, is it smoked glass? No. It's like a nice smoky glass with a um, gold, with gold. Da, da, da. That's there, that's there. <laughs> this was a gift from Faye of Barry. 